Before we get started in today's conversation, I do want to give a shout out to someone who left us a review. That's right. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do. Um, and if you're in the given mood this holiday season, please feel free to give us a review. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Irv Daddy, who left a review on Apple Podcasts. He said, the amazing show. Thank you very much, Irv. He said, Chris is amazing and the content he gives is very authentic and practical to give you your first or second six figure year or month. Looking forward to hearing more from this amazing man and his journey into his best version. It is great to hear someone at his ever growing level as I know what uh, what to expect as to obtain similar experiences and growth. Thank you and God bless. And don't forget to sub his channels. Peace. He literally wrote that. Like I'm not making that up. That's literally like right here on this page. So thank you, uh, Irv, for your kind words. I really appreciate it. And hey, you can be like Irv. In this given season, please give us a review. We would happily appreciate you watching the show, listening to the show, however you found this platform, leave us a review on whatever platform that is. It would definitely make it easier for other people just like you to find the show, all right? So with that being said, um, today what I wanted to be able to do is talk to you about uh, a principle that I share uh, with um, you know uh, potential clients and people that I, that I help and a lot of folks. And I think sometimes it's just because we don't pay attention to these things, but I wanted to show you the triangle of value. I wanted to show you why it's important. And I also wanted to show you like how um, you will continue to get paid no matter what. Like if you wanted to know, like why is it that some people get paid more than others well, why is it that like I seem to be working really hard, right? Like, but I'm not getting paid or someone's getting paid more than me. I'm going to show you something that they understand, but I want to make sure that you know too. So that from this day forward, after this Massive Action Monday, you can no longer say, oh my gosh, I did not know that. All right. So let's get started. So have you subscribed to the channel yet? Again, go subscribe, grow your side business. It's got a lot of great content there. All right. So uh, with that being said, here's what we want to do. I want to actually show you something. Um, because I think this will probably help with a lot of things that uh, you probably wanted to understand and really get a chance to know, like about how do I determine my value, right? Like I I'm going to show you the triangle of value, but you might be wondering, like, what do I have to do? What is the thing? How do I make sure I understand what I am worth and what my value is worth uh, in the marketplace? Well, I'm going to show you that. And so to really understand that, here's what we got to do. We got to understand it really comes in three parts. That's why it's called the triangle of value, right? And these three parts are really, really important. So let's let's go ahead and, and dive into it. Um, and I'm just going to, you know, we'll, I'll just write this up here. And as I'm doing this, what I'd like for you to do in the comments is I'd like for you to tell me, you know, how do you determine personally what your value is in the marketplace. Like, how have you been doing that? Is it just the things that you put your hands to? Like, and when I'm done, hopefully this will help you craft it a little bit more clear, a little bit more crystallized for you. So what is the triangle of value? The first uh, thing that's at the very top of our triangle comes with uh, our profession, okay? So our profession is at the very top of our triangle. Now, what is a profession? So if you go look up the definition of profession, it's a paid occupation, especially one that involves prolonged training and formal qualification. All right. An act of declaring that one has a particular feeling of quality, especially when it uh, that is not the case. They call it like, you know, the profession, a declaration. But we're going to go with the first one here as a noun, a paid occupation, especially one that involves prolonged training and formal qualification. Here's what I know. You have been doing your job quite well for a very, very long time. And even if you haven't been, you got the job, right? So clearly there's something that you know. And I, I want to state this too, because a lot of times there's some beliefs that we have about like, you know, our roles and, and what we've been doing. And I hear people say, and I used to say it too all the time. I used to hear people say, now I've been doing my job for 20, 30 years. Like as an executive coach in the uh, in, in financial services for one of the largest financial firms around the country uh, in the world, I I would say, yeah, I've been doing my job for, you know, 15, 16 years. Right. Well, it's not that you've been doing the job 15 or 16 years. Most of us 
have been delivering one thing and one thing over and over and over again for a length of time, 15 or 16 years. But you haven't like done just the only thing. Like it's been the only thing that you just continue to repeat all the time. So like some people say, you know, hey, I've been doing, you know, accounts payable for 15, 16 years. Well, what you've been doing is actually doing billing and collections over and over again. You're doing a repeat deliverable for 15 and 16 years. That's what we've been doing, right? But what's cool about our profession is it's the first, it's the top tier of our triangle. Why is that? Because when you think of value, I need you to understand that what your job and what the marketplace sees as your value might be two different things. And I want you to know how to craft this conversation in this language so when you're talking to people, you can determine what your value is, not somebody else. So when it comes to your profession, it's the thing that you get paid to do. Somebody tell me down in the comments, like, what is the thing that you get paid to do, right? What is it? But I want you to think of it in terms of not the title. Forget the title for a second. Business systems consultant, uh, 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 you know, information technology. What? No. What is it you get paid to do? That's the thing you've been doing over and over and over and over and over again for however long you've been doing it, right? Not the title. The titles don't mean anything. CEO, no, what do I get paid to do as the CEO, right? Oh, I'm, I, I, I run the marketing department. No, what is it that you get paid to do in the marketing department? You are not a department. You are not a, a object, right? You're not an object. I work in legal. No, what do you get paid to do in legal, right? I'm an attorney. No, what do you get paid to do? as an attorney. Why is this important? Why am I drilling this? Because many of us don't even know how to talk about what we do. We know how to spit the title, but we don't even know how to say what it is that I do. Right? So I can tell you, you know, some people say, oh, he's a podcaster. No, I'm not a podcaster. I'm not a podcast, right? I'm a business coach that helps ambitious employees be able to grow a profitable side business. That's what I do, right? In my profession of podcasting. Okay, does that make sense? So I want you to make sure you understand your profession. The second portion of this is we have, we'll come down here, are within our profession, that means we have a set of practices. Okay, now, when we think about practices, what is practices? Well, when we define practices, Practices is the actual application and the use of an idea, belief, or method as opposed to theories relating to it. I'm going to read that again. The actual application or the use of an idea, belief, or method as opposed to, re to, the, to theories relating to it. See, there's a lot of people who can tell you about a thing but they've never done it. Why? Because maybe they just study it a lot, right? It's different when you're listening to sports commentary from somebody who's just been studying the game all of their lives. And it's not that it's not valuable. It's not that it's not important. If they've been studying something for a long time, well, that's great. It's a little different when somebody stepped off the field and comes in the booth and actually tells you about the game, right? It's different, right? If, if I understand if I've been studying tennis all of my life, well, I've been studying it. But if I've never played a match and, and Serena Williams walks in or Rafael Nadal walks in and says, hey, I want to talk about this game. I think I would defer to the person who's talking about it because he's not theorizing about it. They actually did it, right? You actually been doing your profession. How do we know that? Because you're getting paid to do it, right? You've been getting paid to do it. But I want you to key, I want you to key in on the word practice. Why do we call it a practice at, you know, for a law firm? Why do we call it a practice as a surgeon? Why do, why do we always say that? Like, because it's the repetition of the thing that makes you better. So that's why when I said a profession, it's not the title. It's the thing that you've constantly continued to do over and over and over and over and over again. Right. So it's the practice of a thing. And I'm going to give you a little secret. Here's the secret. 
Real mastery is the person who's practiced the thing more than the average person. Right? I talked about this before. I have now probably up to date 152 episodes of my podcast. That means I've done this 152 times. I'm probably a lot better than when I started at number zero. Fair? I might have something to offer somebody who's just getting started. Fair? Right? I have almost 200 videos on YouTube. I put, I practiced pressing publish 200 times. I think I probably know a little something that, uh, to offer and I have something of value to offer in ways of experience, information to somebody who's just getting started. If that makes any sense, right? Okay. I built my first side business. It's almost $200,000 in the first year. I have to know something. Okay. I have some value to offer somebody who may be just getting started or has never really grown their side business. Okay. Practice. You keep practicing. And I want you to fall in love with practice. I want you to stop thinking about the emotion that's attached to it. I even want you to fall out of love with the results of it. Because your profession is where you're getting paid, right? But you get paid because you practice this thing over and over and over and over and over again, okay? Which leads me to the third part of our triangle here, right? Which means that we've got our profession, we've got our practices, they're all hinged on the principles that we live by. There are principles to doing your job, right? There are principles to actually getting a thing done. There is principles to work in engineering. There's principles to being an accountant. There's principles to being the CEO, being in the marketing area, right? There's principles to being an electrician, right? As much as I may want it to be my profession, and as much as I may want to go practice it, if I don't understand the principles of electricity, if I don't understand the principles of that role, I will screw it up and I will not get paid because I don't understand exactly the principles that that person is following. You want to know why somebody can stay in a role? You want to know why somebody can build a business? You want to know why somebody can start in one industry, leave that industry and go into another business? It's because they follow a set of principles. And it's also because they understand that at the end of the day, everything I am doing, when I put these three together, that is my value. It's not the title. It's not um, my way with words, even though that could be important, right? So if you ever wanted to know like, man, how is it that some people are able to just, you know, go into a different, you know, uh, industry in their life? How is it they were able to build that, that network marketing business? How is somebody able to build that construction business? How did he leave his six figure job and go start that business? Because that person, he or she understood their profession, they understood the practices that go into it and they have underpinning principles. And every time they go into something new, they leverage all three. And they know how to speak to all three. Tell me down in the comments, do you understand how to speak to the value that you bring to your company or to your side business? Do you know how to articulate the value that you actually bring to a person? If all, if I had somebody come up to you and they said, Hey, I'm going to offer you $10,000 right now. Tell me what it is that you actually do. Would you give me the title or would you know how to describe what you do in a way that I can understand in like one or two sentences? Could you help me understand how those practices make up that profession? And that's the reason why you get paid. And then could you be able to actually show me a few principles that somebody in your profession walk by and that they work in in order to be able to do their job well? What I am showing you right now is one of the most valuable things that I have learned. I learned this by trial and error, really, because I remember there was a time where I was um, I was 
I remember when I like I remember after a corporate layoff and I had like a two year run, I was putting in application after application after application and I wasn't getting hired, wasn't getting hired, wasn't getting hired. I know I ran through over a hundred applications. I know when I first started my side business, uh, my first one, I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say until I realized, Chris, you're spitting titles. You're talking, you're talking in language that only the people in that world understand. Nobody understands a podcast, but people do understand that they are corporate ambitious employees who are frustrated with their current day job and want to be able to build something with the knowledge that they have, but they don't know how to do it. And they need somebody to help guide them how to build them a profitable side business. That is language that people can understand. So what is your homework for Massive Action Monday? Your homework, if you so choose, is to understand how to talk about your profession without the title. Okay? Help people understand exactly what it is that you do. Few sentences, one or two sentences. Number two, based on that, because that's the way you get paid, what are some of the practices that go into, how, how do you practice that all the time? What is the thing that you actually deliver, right? What is the outcome that is a result of you doing your work? What is the outcome for the end user? And then what is the principles that underpin the work that you actually do, right? What are those? And, and, and when you understand that this is your value, I'm telling you right now, your world will open up because you will realize I can go into any industry, any arena, any company. If you've been afraid to take that next leap in your, in your corporate role because you just feel like I need to do more. No, you don't need another certification. You don't need another degree. You don't, you don't need all of that. I just saw this article in the Harvard Business Review. I talked about it last yesterday. I went live and they interviewed the CEO of LinkedIn. The CEO of LinkedIn even said skills, not degrees, is what matters most in, an, in, in, in any interview. Because if you have the skill, you've been doing it in a profession, you know how to clearly articulate that, you've been practicing it for a while and you know the principles that underpin it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your triangle of value that you offer to your company and that you can offer in the marketplace. Okay? So if you want to know more about this and if you want to be able to like take this even a step further, I created something called the Side Hustle Secrets course. You can go to the website. The link is below. You can also go to growyoursidebusiness.com. And if you go there, you will be able to go to my Side Hustle Secrets course. I'm going to show you how you take this. And if you've never understood how to take the information that's in your head about the profession you've been doing for 10, 12, 20 years or so. And if you never understood how to put that in the marketplace so that you can build you a profitable side business, I got an entire course called the Side Hustle Secrets course. This right here is just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible for you to be able to do. Okay. So I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you found this information helpful. If you did, make sure that if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment and actually tell me as a part of your Massive Action Monday homework, explain your profession in two sentences. Don't give me the title. I want you to tell me what it is you actually do. One or two sentences. Try to make it as clear as possible. Okay. All right, if you're watching this or you're listening to this uh, on Spotify, Apple, uh, Podcasts, Google Play, TuneIn, wherever you're listening, I want you to make sure that you share this with somebody else so they can also understand the triangle of value. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And until next time, y'all, I'll see you soon. Have a great and happy Thanksgiving. And I look forward to talking to you in the next episode. Peace, everybody.